Many people have been asking over the last couple of days, how do they vote for my independent team and other freedom parties in the upper house in New South Wales? Of course, we've put out our how to vote cards, uh, which we'll be handing out hopefully at most election uh, booths uh, about indicating how to vote. But I'd just like to show you what it means because there is a little bit of confusion in the New South Wales upper house because the, the ballot paper, uh, which I've mocked up here, is actually so big, it's over a, it's over a metre long. You see it has over 290 names in it. So it is a little bit complicated. Firstly, this is the ballot paper which everyone gets the same in New South Wales, uh, irrespective of what uh, electorate that you live in. You get a separate smaller ballot paper if you're in local area. And this one is for the statewide uh, vote for the upper house. Now the first thing that you'll notice on this ballot paper is there's this line across the top. And you'll often hear about people saying vote uh, above or voting below the line, right? If you vote below the line, your vote's actually much more powerful. It's much stronger. It gives you the chance to allocate the preferences where you want them to flow so your vote uh, won't expire if your candidate, uh, your first choice candidate, doesn't get selected. So firstly, my first recommendation to everyone, irrespective of what party that you support, vote below the line. So if you want to vote below the line, you don't put any markings above the line for any of these boxes, but you must put at least 15 numbers below uh, this line that you see here. Now, I'll quickly show you how that's done. So first, if you want to support the Craig Kelly independent team, you start here at group B, below the line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll fill those in and show you what that looks like. There you go, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for Craig Kelly's independent team. But you need to vote actually more than that. Remember, 15 numbers below the line. So what our preference recommends is that for your number 10 and 11 vote, that you vote here for Group G, which is for Fred Niles' team. Fred and his wife, are Silvana. So they would be 10 and 11. Yes, so we've got there 10, 10 and 11 for uh, uh, Silvana and Fred Nile. We're recommending 12 and 13 for the first two people in Group J, which is the Liberal Democrats. So if you come across here to Group J, Liberal Democrats, we're saying give number 12 to John Ruddick and number 13 to Millie Fontana. So you can see there 12 and 13 for Group J. To make up the 14 and 15, we're recommending you come all the way across to group Q, which is the One Nation group, and you would give Mark Latham number 14 and Tanya Mahalik number 15. You can see that, you can see those right across there uh, in group Q. So that's our recommendations uh, on this ballot paper. So you can see there, one to nine for Craig Kelly's team, 10 and 11 for uh, Sylvana Nile and Fred Nile, 13 and, sorry, 12 and 13 for John Ruddick and uh, Millie Fontana from the Liberal Democrats, and 14 and 15 for uh, One Nation Group. So again, just to recap, uh, the re our recommendation or my recommendation is that you vote 15 numbers below this line, nothing above the line. One through to nine, for my team is listed here under group B. For 10 and 11, group G, which is Sylvana Nile and Fred Nile, I think that uh, Fred's done a great job, the Reverend Fred Nile in uh, his probably most likely leading parliament at this election, so give him 10 and 11 to show respect for Fred. Uh, 12 and 13, uh, group J, which is the Liberal Democrats, so 12 to John Ruddy, 13 to uh, his running mate, uh, Millie Fontana and for 14 and 15 we're recommending Group D which is One Nation which is Mark Latham and Tanya Mahalik. Uh, Tanya's the ex-Labor Member of Parliament that resigned from the Labor Party because she was just so sick uh, of the corruption. So that's it, 1 to 15 on the big upper house ballot paper and perhaps unsurprisingly no preferences for Labor, Liberals, Nationals, Greens or Socialist Alliance. They get nothing. Uh, please do that and let's try and keep these bastards honest 
and make sure that we and make sure that we can get that upper house to be controlled by the minor parties and independents that will hold either the Labor or Liberal Party to account. Now there'll be no more fear and the road is clear, the sky is clear and grey. I know what I'll do, gonna put my faith in a party true. A team that knows a way to fight for me now every day. And that's my kind of party, the United Australia Party. Yeah, that's my kind of party, the United Australia Party. So sound the starting gun, you know we've just begun. To make Australia great, we got it in us, mate. United Southern Sons. Come throw away my vote. That has changed the course of Australia's history. Won't let us bob around, we're gonna hit the ground. We have the antidote. government of Australia changes to make sure a new government is formed that can give hope for the people and stop what's happening in this country. And that's my kind The best life is a family. The best country is Australia. Love Australia. Yeah, that's my kind of party. The United Australia party.